Here's a look at some snow in Summerlin in March. This video taken just a little over three hours ago. And as the wet weather continues in some areas, we have a special guest this morning. Zora Asbury <laughs> continues to track the roads, but let's start with First Alert Meteorologist Justin Bruce on his First Alert Action Day. Uh, yeah, Justin. third action day in a row. Third yeah. day in a row with rain in the forecast. Uh, we did have some snow in the mix and some grouple in the mix yesterday, those little snow pellets, and we've seen a lot of that so far on this Friday. Let's take a little bit of a radar tour in just a moment. You can also see some hints of blue sky <laughs> through the clouds looking out to the east. It's only 41 at McCarran. I want to take you down toward West Henderson. We've seen some big fat snowflakes around uh, Anthem in that higher terrain. Just got a tweet from Joe Bartels, our intrepid reporter near Lake Mead in the 95 saying there's some grouple in the mix with this shower right around 95 in the rainbow curve, but you can see that other parts of Las Vegas actually catching a little bit of a break. Hey, down toward Searchlight. I know we've got folks watching that way. You've seen some snow today. Often on showers, we'll continue not only through the afternoon, but the rain may not wind down until an hour or two after midnight. And we wouldn't be shocked if we even heard a rumble of thunder at some point between midday and the afternoon. Highs only in the low 50s, so chilly weather to be sure. We'll talk about an improved weekend forecast in a bit, but we need to check in with Zora to see how this weather is impacting our roads. And it's certainly impacting our roads, Justin. Lots of wet weather has affected roadways, causing lots of crashes. So we do have our live drive that's actually headed to the airport connector because we do have a crash that has been reported in that area. So we're going to check in with him in just a little bit throughout the show. But as you guys take a look, here's the spaghetti bowl. We're seeing lots of red, lots of orange, a lot of congestion in that area. So if you do take the spaghetti bowl, whether you're taking the 95 or the 15, make that extra time for your morning drive in that direction. As we take a look here, this is going to be the 215. As you guys can see in the eastbound lanes, a little bit of a slowdown there as well. And then here's the crash we were talking about. This is by the McCarran Airport Connector and Russell Road, where you guys can see in those southbound lanes, lots of red and orange, which means a major slowdown. So just make that extra time. I can't stress that enough. Here's a look at Summerlin. I know we've had some wet weather and some grapple reported there. So just be extra careful on those slick roads and we'll check in in just a little bit with your problem solver traffic.